Hey guys, the Eggman here. Welcome back to Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass, episode 37. Last episode we went through Muto's temple. This episode we're gonna face the temple boss. Eos, <gasps> Ancient Stone Soldier. So to start out, you're just gonna want to avoid his uh, fist dropping on you, and you want to fling up and just uh, attack him with your hammer on the. So you fling up on the spring pad thing, just attack him on the red dots too. That's his only weak spots. So he's gonna shoot arrows at you through his head. So you can just go behind him at that part and just fling up and hit a bunch of his uh, back parts. So you can just run through his legs and you can run through his legs at other times too. And it's a very effective strategy. Attack his arms and whatever's left of his body parts. So all we got left now is his right leg and his head. And his head can be kind of annoying to take out. Because it's at the very top of where the your bottom screen is. So you have to hit it precisely. And you can only get one hit off each time you run through his legs. If you do it, good. If not, then you don't get any hits. So there's one. So then if we try and go again, he's gonna turn around. So we can only get one, so you're gonna run behind him again. And if you, you can just miss like that too, like I just did. Uh, just doesn't register for some reason sometimes. It can be kind of annoying this fight, but it's still a pretty cool fight, I think. So there's one, I think, one more hit, maybe two. So now we gotta run through his legs, and then he'll stop. And fling ourselves up again, and there we go. Now he's gonna get these four red blocks on his uh, chest and arms. You just wanna hit all of them in one spring up. You can't do more than one spring up. Um, or else they will turn back to red and you won't be able to hit it. So for this part you want to step on the springboard, fling yourself up onto his head. You want to keep your hammer out, you don't want to take out your sword like I did, you just want to have your hammer because it does more damage and just keep smacking on his head. That'd be kind of painful, but what else are you going to do? Uh, so just smack on his head again. And you should take him out. So he's gonna turn into Sand of Hours. And this is the last Sand of Hours that we get. We now have 25 minutes in our Phantom Hourglass. Plenty of time to go through the Temple of the Ocean King. Even though we're not gonna be going through the whole thing again. So there we go. Now we got our regular treasure chest that we get and a path downwards. Open up the treasure chest and the last heart container now. So we're getting pretty close to finishing everything off now. So you just want to head down the stairs now. Been saying now way too much in the past couple sentences. But just talk to King Muto.
So there is the last pure metal. Run around his thing, and we get Aquanine. So now we got all three pure metals, and we want to head back to Zaza's island now, so we can forge the sword that is able to defeat Bellum. So you just want to step into the blue light, and we're back at the entrance of the temple, and we want to head back to where our ship is, so it doesn't take too long to get there. You just want to head through all these puzzles that are all the trials that were set for us to get to King Muto. And then you want to climb up the stairs to the first knight's temple, but just drop down. And then climb up these stairs, head across this bridge, and head over here, and we're back at our ship already. So we'll talk to Lionbeck. And we can just set sail now. So I'll see you guys when we get to Zaz's island. Here we are at Zaz's island now. So what you want to do, just pretty obvious actually, just head into his house and talk to Zaz. Crimsonine, Azurine, and Aquanine. All the three pure metals. Which he'll forge the sword that can defeat Bellum. So now if we try and talk to him, uh, he's gonna just tell us to have some patience. So what we have to do is go waste some time. And we got a letter in the mailbox. So you can sign, you can rewrite it if you want, but our link there is fine. But anyways, Jolene is challenging us to one last battle. So I guess that's what we want to do since we have time to waste anyways. So just go talk to Linebeck and it's going to tell us how crazy Jolene is and stuff like that. Okay, so we set sail, so I'll meet you guys when we find Jolene. So here we are, Jolene's boarding our ship for the final time, finally. So you're just gonna fight her like you always have. And doing a great spin attack doesn't work on her, so you don't even need to try it like I just did. Her uh, attacks are gonna be faster, so you have to avoid them uh, quickly and step away from them, not be so close to her, or else you're gonna get hit. So just rub swords, and there we go. Or not. We have one more, have to do one more hit on her. And she sends us flying there. And we keep getting hit by her, but she's definitely more powerful this time, but still no match for us. So just avoid one of her uh, long strikes or whatever. 
attack her one more time, and there we go. So now we want to go talk to Limebeck. I like this part right here. <laughs> Instead of breaking up with her, Lineback just uh, steals some of her treasure and gets away from her. I like that. <laughs> nah, just kidding. But anyways, after we fight Jolene, we just want to head back to Zaz's island. See if he's done our sword yet. And look at that. So we got the sword blade now, but we have to get a handle. Which we have to get from the Ocean King. So we want to do that now, but first we want to head to Spirit Island and upgrade our spirits and get more powerful so we're able to defeat Bellum. So I'll meet you guys when we get to Spirit Island. So here we are at Spirit Island now. and. This letter, like the past two temples, after you finish them, uh, it's going to be a day after on your DS internal clock. King Muto is going to send you a letter. Apparently spirits can send letters now. But inside is going to be the last power gem. So we now have all the spirit gems. So since we're at Spirit Island, we're going to cash them all in and get our rewards. So just enter the cave. And then you want to come up to this spring and present all three gems, or spirits, or gems, whatever. So the spirit of power has been powered up. Let's now talk to them again. You can do your wisdom gems. And now the spirit of wisdom is be has been powered up. And finally we want to do our courage gems. And the Spirit of Courage is powered up. So then with that, we want to head to Murkay Island and talk to the Ocean King and get our sword powered up. So I will see you guys when we get to Murkay Island. So here we are at Marque Island now. So upon arriving here, we just want to 
head over to Ashus, the Ocean King. So just head into his house. And we're going to have cutscenes now, so I'll just shut up. So with that, time to head to the Temple of the Ocean King for the final time. So I just walked through town. I think all the villagers should be like cheering us on right here. I think that'd be pretty awesome. But they're not. They're selfish. But anyways, look who we find here. So it looks like Limebeck's uh, getting a lighter side on him. Not always joking around all the time. But anyways, just keep heading to the Temple of the Ocean King. And we're going to end things off here now. Next time we're going to take on the Temple of the Ocean King for the final time. I'll see you guys then.